we're in desperate search of a solution. We need a solution. That's the Pennsylvania Secretary of Agriculture, Russell Redding. And this is why we need a solution. According to Penn State Research, the spotted lanternfly is causing $50 million of damage in southeastern Pennsylvania each year. So what can you do to help this fall? Whether you're going to camping sites, you're going to the hunt, you got to hunt, you're doing things as a family activity, please make sure that you're taking all the precautions of uh, you know, checking the vehicle. Hitching a ride on your car or even our railroads is how they've spread across Pennsylvania and New Jersey. The spotted lanternflies are just starting to lay eggs and they'll continue to do so for the next month. So it's really important this time of year to not transport any. But not everyone will be seeing the spotted lanternfly. In the northern parts of our states, it doesn't get warm enough for long enough for the spotted lanternfly to survive. Spotted lanternflies really respond to warmer weather. You'll see a lot more of them when it's pretty warm. Well, the reason we're seeing so many this year compared to other years, it was one of the hottest summers of all time. In fact, it was the hottest summer of all time in Reading, the fourth warmest in Philly and the seventh warmest in the Lehigh Valley and in the Poconos. And because of all that heat, they'll be laying a lot of eggs over the next few months, which means in the spring, there's a lot of eggs ready to hatch. And spring's exactly when you want to stop them. You can help by putting an oily pesticide around the base of your tree. The oil and the pesticide will make it last for about a month. Or wrap something sticky around your tree, like duct tape. But if you do use something sticky on the tree, just be ready. You'll have to change it a lot. There's just that many of them in the spring, and it can really feel like an uphill battle. Do what you can do. We understand it can be overwhelming, and we hear that, but do what you can do. Penn State researchers understand that firsthand. Yeah, they were starting to get a little aggravated themselves. No matter what they came up with, nothing was attracting the spotted lanternflies to their traps. And one day, one of, one of our uh, chemical ecologists, Tom Baker, said in disgust, this thing seems to be attracted to nothing but tall objects. And sort of flippantly, I said, why don't we design a trap around that? Dr. Rauch, the head of agricultural research at Penn State, came up with the idea of using a tall metal pole, like what you would see in a parking lot to attract spotted lanternflies. And it turns out, it worked. The traps on the metal poles end up attracting just as many spotted lanternflies as the traps on trees do. This is a, a, an issue that science will solve, uh, but it takes time. Now the long-term solution is to spray trees with pesticides from the air. You need to do that because the eggs are up high in the tree, and by spraying from the air, you'll get right to those eggs. But the most effective pesticide, it's not cheap. This year alone, the United States Department of Agriculture has spent 20 million, yeah, 20 million on fighting the pest. But if we don't get the spotted lanternfly under control, Penn State researchers estimate that the damages will cost Pennsylvania $500 million each year. In southeastern Pennsylvania, literally with the story, I'm meteorologist Drew Anderson on 69 News.